Hi everyone, Fire here again. Gonna bring you an update on spirals. So roaming vectors changed everything. This is what you you worked with before. A three by three pillar. Yeah, it's a nice spiral, but it's fairly big. You know, it a uh, three by three becomes a takes up what appears to be 4x4 four four space and it's really quite huge so this is what roaming vectors gives us a 3x3 three three now becomes a 1x1 one one. Both of these still take up the same amount of space in the world. So, uh, they're both still 3x3 three three grids, but this obviously looks so much slimmer. Quite cute too. Right, so I'm going to try and teach you how to make that. And I'll be using my new offset voxel board. Now I've repainted the sides so they match the arrows. So blue arrow it's offsetting half, one and one and a half along these lines. Red half this way, half, one, one and a half, so all along these lines. And the green arrow for vertical, so half, one and one and a half voxels. And this is a expanded of the shape we're trying to do. So this will be our original uh, voxel shape, just doubled in size. We want to take this orange corner here and moving it to the centre of the next voxel, next cube over. We want to be taking this red corner and moving it till it's on matching this red corner here and then this blue edge we're taking down to match this blue edge in the middle here which is halfway down the block and the gold one this outside edge to match this inside edge of this gold one here so one in half and half start placing a cube over a grid because I like them. So right, first of all, orange, get my arrows up, so we'll go half in the red direction and, sorry, half in the blue direction and half in the red direction. So one, so half and half takes us to this one. Copy that out and get to line up. Right, there it is half in my box. So I went in this corner here and I was two up. So that just stretches out. Next one, the red one. So I'm Again, going two steps in the blue direction and two steps in the red direction. So, effects routine, these two, which takes me to this one here. You select all these, they're all one up from the base of the wood, by the way. So, copy that one out. This one's quite easy to place because it appears to be exactly in the position where the other cube was. So, just 
just paste that in. Okay. Blue one. We want to go half in the blue direction, or one step. Uh, two steps in the red, and one step down in the green. So half in the blue, two in the red, and half in the green. Takes this one. But this one goes up. So we need to mirror it down. So we want it to go down half a step. And we come over here. We do this corner square here. And this should line up in the same line as that one, the edges. And for the final corner, a mirror of the blue corner, it's uh, one step in the red direction, two steps in the blue direction, and one step up. One red, two blue, one step up. And I paste it in the opposite corner. And although this looks like we're selecting that one, that short box hole is sitting here. So there's our shape. Or we want to place the voxel above these four squares mirrored so it appears to be centered in the middle one. So copy it out and we we'll pushed it from this corner first. So paste it. Rotate it, paste it the next green one. Uh, rotate anti clockwise so that's towards me. The mouse wheel. And rotate it the four times. And if you see that sits nicely all in the middle square. Now next, you want to make a cutter for it. So. A marker block. So I'll just control X and then paste that up off the ground. I'm gonna heal these blocks so I get a, get a cutter healed off in night. And then I'll select this, which is two up. It's a 3x3 three three, remember, not a 1x1, one one, so you need to select the whole thing. But what it produces, you just need to paste above and below your healed earth. Then select across, bring it up so you just got the middle layer. Now you're ready to cut out a spiral. So, you need to make a, a base block. Switch my materials. Right. Just do a simple two color one and place my marker block. Now, if you copy your uh, colors and rotate it the same way your pillar is going to go, which is anti clockwise with us, and just 
pasting over. And it qualifies paste and it qualifies paste. And you only want to go four high because it repeats after that. So you can template this. repeat it however many times now copy out your cutter or use your template you made of it make sure paste with air is on run it up. No, that was a bad choice of obsidian because I've taken the medium block which unfortunately has these big textures out of it but apart from that pretty good. And let me change that for the next bit. Where's my smooth polish? There we are. Okay. How to get a reversing pillar? Right, you take your four block and you paste it. You bring it up four and then you press V to mirror it in the vertical direction and you paste it again. Up four, V to mirror, paste. Up four, V to mirror and paste. Then you take your cutter Same one you just made, I'm just using my save version. And you paste it four times up. For the fifth one, you mirror it vertically. Paste up another four. Mirror it again. Paste it four times and mirror again. There we go. So I hope everyone got this. Any questions, please let us know. Thanks.